Hey guys, John here with Survival Dispatch, and today I wanted to break down my fire kit. This is what stays in my backpack all the time. Uh, I've used it for quite a few years. It's a little bit different than what most people uh, use as far as a fire kit, but it's something that I have tested and used many times. Doesn't really matter what the weather is. Um, this is what I always carry with me. So to start with, I use a, uh, this is an Osprey. Uh, you can pretty much use anything, but I use a dry sack. You can tell it's a dry sack because it holds air um, and you roll it down. So this is a three liter bag and a lot of people might be saying like, why do you have such a big bag? And I will get into that in just a minute. So it's a roll top. So just roll it on up here. And uh, inside is my, my actual fire kit. So I put my whole fire kit in a A-lock sack, um, waterproof super durable. Um, so that's pretty much my whole fire kit. Uh, the reason why I put it in a three liter bag is because while I'm out and about, if I come across uh, any really good tender, it might be, you know, birch bark or monkey's fur, uh, anything like that, I can put it in this bag. I can roll it up. Even if it's, you know, pretty big, I can roll it up and, uh, and it stays nice and dry because if, if I'm heading into a situation where I know weather is maybe a day away or so, um, or even hours away, um, I can get dry tender now. I can put it in my bag and, uh, and I can make sure that it's good and dry in case I have to start a fire in the rain. I have a little bit more help on my side. So that's why, you know, I have a smaller fire kit that actually goes in a larger bag. Um, also, you know, at the end of a fire, if I have some really good dry wood that I can transfer to another fire uh, the next day or something like that, I might break some pieces up uh, to use as tender or um, to, you know, so I throw it in that bag as well. So, so that's why I carry a larger bag. Um, it's orange in color. You'll kind of see a running color theme here. Uh, everything that I have in my fire kit is, is orange pretty much. And the reason why I do that is because when you start in a fire, you're usually on the ground. So I want everything to stand out so that I don't lose anything. Um, you know, because the last thing you want to do is lose your only method or your method of starting fire. So, you know, I always make sure it's in these bags, but if not, it's brightly colored orange. So, so there's the bag. Uh, inside the lock sack here, and this is, I'm trying to see the size here. This is a six and a half, uh, six by six pretty much. So, um, so that's the size for it. Um, first I start with a, uh, a Fresnel lens, Fresnel lens, however you want to say it. Uh, pretty much just a magnifying lens. If it's a bright sunny day, you know, you can start fires with this and, and not have to, to use any of your other resources other than the sun, which, you know, pretty much never goes away. So that's the first thing that's in there on a sunny day. Um, and then let's see here, all the green stuff here. This is trioxane. Uh, trioxane was first used by the military. Uh, it is like a, uh, like a wet fire pretty much. Wet fire pretty much is, is trioxane. Um, I have quite a few of these. These are my number one uh, source of, of getting a fire going. They burn for, you know, they have two different sizes. They have a small and a large. The large one will easily burn for 10 minutes and they burn extremely hot. Um, rain doesn't put them out so I can get a small fire going even if I have to put some tinder and stuff around it and the trioxane is hot enough that it will actually dry out the tinder that I'm putting around it um, so that I can start to build a larger fire so that's why I like trioxane uh, it catches a spark it catches a flame extremely easy um, you know one note you have to watch out the uh, trioxane pretty much burns clear so even when you don't think there's a fire you can put your hand next to it um, and you can feel if there's a fire. So once you start throwing log, uh, sticks and stuff on there, of course it'll be yellow at that point. But trioxane is always my, my number one go-to. Um, and then I also, as far as tender, I have some fat wood in here. Um, so I'll shave some of this off. I'll cut it into small pieces. I usually carry four or five in here. Um, you know, I got three right now just because I used some the other day. Um, but I always carry fat wood in here because once again, it gives me that good burn time so that I can get stuff started um, that I, you know, find along the trail. My number one source of ignition is always a lighter. Um, I like these, the Jeep lighters, I guess that's how you say it, D-J-E-E-P. Um, they are, I say, just as reliable as a Bic lighter, um, but they carry more fuel, so you get, you get a lot of runtime on these. They've always been reliable, um, so I carry it the Jeep lighter. As a secondary uh, source of Ignition, I start with a, uh, an Exotac Nano Spark. Um, these spark wheels always work really, really well. They also work well with a trioxane. 
and inside has a quick tender tab as well in case I needed that and that's waterproof but as you can see the running color of, of orange going here I want everything to be really bright when I set it down um, this is something that pretty much I never see anybody carry um, this is just a tin can that I, I cut like half of it apart and I folded it on itself and uh, I've used this for, for many different things. Number one, uh, if I am doing like a friction fire or something, I can put my hot ember on here and I can get a fire started actually on the metal itself. If the ground is really wet, um, I can start it on the metal, let it burn and let it get going and then I can slide the metal out. So it's really good for transferring embers. Uh, number two, I can stand it up like this and build a fire here. Uh, if I have a lot of wind coming in, you know, I can work right here, keep a fire really nice small lit right here uh, with wind. If I had a lot of rain, I can make it a quasi teepee. I can just bend it some and it'll protect it from the rain as well. So, you know, I've used this quite a few times out and about. Um, you know, most people, you know, I never see anything that, that really helps uh, combat wind or rain. Um, so I've used that quite a bit. I've also, you know, like I said, started fires on it when ground is really, really wet. Um, you know, it helps with that as well. So I keep that in there. Um, and that's it. I mean, I keep it super simple. Um, I can start. I don't know, 15, 20, 30 fires probably out of this amount of trioxane. Um, fatwood, lighter, nano spark, a Fresnel lens, uh, you know, on bright sunny days, that's what I always go to first. Um, and then my, my metal tin, um, you know, keep it simple. Um, it's, it's been reliable and repeatable for me. I've never had any issues. I do try different fire pieces in and out. You know, I try different lighters or ferro rods, magnesium bars, things like that. But the tried and true, I always come back to. Um, so that's what's always in, in my kit, in my bag. Um, so, you know, so that's, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you have any questions or comments with regards to gear, uh, with regards to tender, anything like that, feel free to leave them below. If you got any extra comments, you know, feel free to leave them below as well. We'll definitely be back to answer them. And until next time, be safe.